this is not going to change. And people don't come to Hollywood uh, saying and wake up one day and say, gee, I think I'll be a racist. No, you come as a racist. This right. is embedded. It needs to be discussed. It needs to change. And these satellite meetings that are had in the corner with the National Urban League or the NAACP right. or Al Sharpton or Reverend Jesse Jackson, this doesn't get anything <laughs> okay. done. Victoria, that, okay, hold on. I just want to pump the brakes on my friend Rev. So let me just ask you, because I just want to take this back. Let's just take a moment. I want to ask you if you think this is a CBS problem? Is it a CBS soap opera problem? And the reason I ask this is that I hearken back to the 80s when Jesse and Angie were yes. the young black couple and perhaps right. one of the hottest soap opera couples. Sure. And that was a long time ago. So right. what do you it's see? It's a systemic issue. It's a systemic issue. It's cross lateral. It's daytime. It's prime time. You don't think I had issues in prime time? Think again. You don't think I had problems or other African Americans, people of color, have problems too? today right well sets. actually i just want to just point to our viewers so right now i believe that we're showing uh there's a new york times did an analysis that in the last 15 years and i'm summarizing cbs has been the least diverse perhaps the whitest yes. network look kwesi and fume our former president of the of, of naacp said this years ago the problem is is nothing changes and if you have diversity directors in your house at CBS, then empower them. If a diversity director is speaking directly to the president of a corporation, and these are corporations, by the way, CBS and Sony, they're federal contractors. They get millions of dollars every year. Right. Where is the accountability okay, for diversity let me ask if you this. federal dollars when? are being pumped into these these corporations and national amusements owns right. cbs when Sumner redstone were... sherry redstone do they know that this is going on well, that 40 years and over 200 years of collective daytime airtime with right. cbs has gone by and not a single executive Victoria, director right. or producer in daytime no we've got to get this out there because okay, people well, don't I, know I, victoria i have to steer this conversation that's my of job of course you do thank so, you for allowing course, me the platform I, please we want you to come back as much as you need a platform you're welcome here but it's I not need just to me it's not right. just me coming well, back it's every, everybody okay everybody's welcome everybody everybody come to the docket call me so listen let me just take you back though because when you speak about accountability then my question is when you were at the young and the restless and people Peter Bergman, who has been uh, very well known in the soap opera industry, he's won, I think, many Emmy Awards. No, and he's a well when known he, instigator. When, okay, he's a when, well known when, instigator. When Peter Bergman uh, called you mentally unstable, did you at that moment complain to your employer? Let me answer the question this way. When I was spat on, whether I was called, referred to something other than what I am. This is a go-to description of being African American in America, in a corporation that has an opinion, that fights for justice. And by the way, a person such as Mr. Bergman is empowered to behave that way. You don't just run out on stage and tell a tenured actress such as myself and say these absurd things because you're not backed by producers oh, in the of background. Course, of course. So I there's a mob agree with that. there's a mob right. mentality that happens with a Victoria Rowell, emblematic of many, that is allowed to happen. Do you think that all of that just happened by accident? No, it was coordinated uh, 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 coordinated so that they would try to push me out. 